how challenging is it to just be a band right now and be in different parts of the country, have to uh, work remote? How, how are you guys handling that? As a band, we've been forced to adapt. And early on, we knew that even through this time, we wanted to figure out a way to move forward, figure out what we could do figure out a way to continue collaborating. Really, we're, we're in an adaptive state as a band right now. Our tour got pulled literally two days before we were supposed to leave for Mexico. So we were we had been in rehearsals all week, kind of getting ready to be gone all year, right when the call came of like, tours canceled, there's a domino effect, and then all the other shows later all, all started to get canceled. Tell me about the idea to put out a song. Like, is it a, is it a situation where you have a completed song and you're like, let's just put it out there? I'm speaking specifically of the things we do, which is the most recent one, uh, Lambswell and It's Okay to Be Human. Lambswell and Things We Do, we've been kicking around for a little while and kind of just going through some different iterations. We had it set up to release earlier, but this was when a lot of tension kind of going on in the country and it just it just felt wrong. And so we actually paused. We've been doing band Zoom calls once a week, the four of us, just kind of talking about things creatively, talking about things that are going on in the country, about ways that we can help. Really found some organizations that we could get behind and, and at least in that way contribute financially and, and so we donated all the proceeds to a few different organizations. And in that moment, that was just something where we're like, okay, this is a practical way we can help. We don't have the bigger answers or we don't have, we, we may never, you know, we may never really have it's, but this is a way that we can help right now. Band wise, in terms of your independence, are you guys no longer with, with Columbia? What's going on? We are kind of going it alone, kind of going back to how it was when we first started, which is just doing things DIY. The landscape of music has changed in terms of streaming and being able to have a direct line to your fans. Yeah, I'm excited to be to be independent. I think we, as a group too, have developed so much uh, independently over the years, like just each one of us musically, our knowledge of the business, our knowledge as artists. It's a perfect time. We, we learn so much being with a label like that and having the, the big power behind you. Um, is so helpful and they were such a great label it was actually like a really as far as relationships normally go with uh, artists and their labels ours was wonderful but it's a cool time to pivot and actually see what we can all do individually as artists how we can come together whether it's diy stuff or just trying to do things in a little bit of a new fresh way that's harder to do when you're tied to so many other voices it can be a lot more work in some ways but i think that there's a freedom to that that's worth it's worth the work, you know. It's been really exciting to be able to create and kind of move and put out music in the momentum, you know, shortly after it was created.